How does the miniature circuit breaker behave in case of a high inrush currents? A large capacitor which requires a high charging current when empty is connected to output 2. Now we switch over to the miniature circuit breakers and, as you can see, the second circuit breaker drips. Although the 2 ampere circuit breaker is designed in characteristic C, this is for high inrush currents, the capacitor cannot be connected. The unintentional dripping can also happen when switching on electromagnets or DC motors. Only by switching on the miniature circuit breaker several times can the capacitor be successively charged and switched on. How does the cell 1200 selectivity module behave on the other hand? First, we see that the individual outputs are switched on consecutively, which limits the total inrush current and reduces the load on the power supply. And we see that output 2 has switched on without any problems, although it is also set to 2 amps. This is because the CTOP cell 1200 add-on module has a switching characteristic, which means that the cell 1200 allows very high currents for a short time. This enables capacitors or motors to be switched on where other protective devices would trip. The CTOP cell selectivity modules have a similar diagnostics interface to the PSU 6200 power supply. For remote diagnostics, therefore, you also only need one digital input of your PLC, one function block and faceplate. On the faceplate you can, for example, trace the time offset for sequential switch on. In this case, a 500 millisecond delay between one output and the previous one. In the next video sequence, we will look at the tripping behavior of the selectivity module and of the miniature circuit breakers. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.